welcome to my channel. I am Jamie and this is Candidly Chaotic. Here on this channel, I like to share our homeschooling journey as well as mom life and family adventures. So if those things sound like you might be able to glean a little bit of, um, you know, different ideas uh, for you and your family, then you can just hit the subscribe button down below. That does help my channel out. And let's get started on this video. So today I am sharing about, so I'm sharing about our kindergarten math. I've already shared about it, I think two times, maybe we've changed. Uh, we did change very early on in our kindergarten year this year. Um, I was going to do Matthew C. And then I decided to do Horizons math. And we have, we have enjoyed it. It's been a good decision for my son. Um, it just, it was right for him. And then I had a bit of an epiphany, I guess. I don't know. I was watching somebody else's YouTube channel, Simply Living It. And she started, she was taught, uh, Jamie there, her name is Jamie as well. Um, she was talking about how they mishmash, I think, master books and gather around and I think maybe she's even used the good and the beautiful. I don't remember, but she mashes up a lot of curricula um, and gets what they want out of all of them. And she was just kind of talking about the freedom to do that. And it's okay. And I thought, yeah, it is okay. <laughs> and so, I mean, of course we, I know that, but I've kind of, I have tried not to do that kind of thing because I don't want to be spending a ton of money. I definitely do want to be as frugal as I can be with our homeschool because I want to leave, I want us to have money to do fun things, you know, extra fun things on top of just our normal school, as well as be a good steward of our finances. And so I don't just want to spend helter skelter, but you know, with that said, I still need to give myself the freedom to spend when I need to. And so anyways, um, when she said that, I don't know, I was kind of thinking about math and how I do and I do like it, but there's a couple things about it that I don't, I don't understand why we're doing it that way. Or I was just kind of thinking, you know, math facts in particular. So Horizons Math, my son is just slightly over halfway through and um, they, so they have him do these addition things and you know, 50 plus three and they have him use these number lines to, to get there. And so I think it's valuable to know that you can add numbers like that, but I don't quite understand why we are using a number line to add numbers before, you know, in kindergarten, he does, he's learning math facts, but he doesn't have all his math, you know, base math facts down. So why are we doing these big addition before we do this little addition things that are more important that are the base for the rest of, you know, his addition and everything. So, and I'm trying to see, how often you do it. It's probably every couple of lessons or I guess even here, this was like two in a row that they did it. Um, so while I don't think it's a bad thing to do, I also don't, I don't know why they do it so often. And I would rather focus more on his math facts because then he will be able to do these addition problems without a number line. And that's what I wanted to be able to do. So with that all in mind, I, so I was, we were going to start with Matthew C and then we changed. And so I didn't know that. And I did buy Matthew C in preparation because I found a, a good deal on, um, I don't know if it was all of it or it's part of it. And then I got part of it new. I can't remember, but I did get a good deal on at least this part and the DVD. And so I have all of the alpha level and I have primer or primer or however you say that level as well. And he has only gone halfway through the primer level. And so what has always drawn me to Matthew C anyways, is how Mr. Demi teaches concepts like uh, place value is 
I think it really makes sense to kids and it's a good base to have for all parts of math. And then also how he teaches certain things for addition, subtraction, multiplication, all those things, how he explains why you do it and you know, just his, th this, um, this curriculum's philosophy, I suppose, for teaching math, I've always been drawn to it. And so it, it's a good curriculum. Um, I think it works really well for a lot of people. It's just certain parts of it wasn't working well for my son at the time. And so I pulled it back out and I have every once in a while pulled it out to see like, oh, well, how do they teach this? And then we kind of do that. And we have, we still use the manipulatives every once in a while because my son likes to, and it helps him think some things through. And so I was looking down through how they have, you know, these, um, addition things taught and it is much different than horizons and kind of more along the lines of what I was thinking to help him learn his base facts anyways but I don't want to switch exactly over to Matthew C either because I really appreciate how they're teaching him money and time and um, I don't know just other age-appropriate math things and you know measuring it we'll be starting to go over like quantities and how we've also done things with the ruler and that kind of stuff that's not really I mean telling time is at the very end in the appendix of this alpha so I didn't like that um, so I don't want to give up on horizons but I do want to start pulling from Matthew C. And then I also was looking up a little bit about how you teach math facts. And I found, I'll link it because I can't remember where it was, but I'm, I'll be able to find it. I hope. I will try to link this um, math teacher's philosophy for how you teach math facts. And it really made sense. And she said about age six is when you can really start doing that. My son is almost six, so I don't want to push it yet but he is starting to learn math facts anyway, so I wanna start doing it in a more um, uh, logical manner. Anyways, that's a large preamble for how we're gonna do math, I'm so sorry. But, um, so, how we're gonna do math now, I'm really excited, I think it's gonna work well for us. We're still gonna do horizons, because it does work well, and there are things in here that we need, and my son really enjoys the he can't just focus on one thing for like a week at a time. He gets bored. Um, so the variable of the page is helpful. But I have started going through and like I have this one circled because this is a new concept and he needs to learn counting by twos. But I crossed this off because I, I don't, I don't really see super value in that anyways. Um, and I have done, and I did that on the back of the page as well. I circled this because he needs to practice it. I crossed this out because um, he knows this. This is super easy to him and we don't, they do this kind of stuff super often in here and he does not need to do it as often as they have you do it. And so I have just gone through quite a few pages and started doing that. And so we are gonna start doing two Horizons Math pages a day. Um, and focusing in on things that he needs to do and every once in a while I will have him review things that I don't have him do all the time um, but yeah so we are gonna go and do probably about two pages a day from horizons and then that will get us through this a little bit more quickly and then I would like to try and wait more towards the end or when we're done with this book and then we will pull out uh, Matthew C and using what I learned from the resource that I'll hopefully link below um, oops, the order that she suggests for math facts to be taught I will then go through here and pick out those lessons that correlate in in that order and we will start, we probably won't do all the worksheet pages, but we'll definitely watch the video and talk about it and have him practice it for sure, some. Um, and I wanna go over place value with him, you know, via this book as well, because I think it can really solidify that concept for him. And that's how we'll finish up 
the year, his kindergarten year. I think this is gonna work really well for my son and for our homeschool and for the goals that my husband and I have for um, you know giving good foundations for our kids in their uh, education. And obviously the <laughs> addition facts, kind of that's where you gotta start. You gotta know those and then you can keep going. Um, that is how I'm gonna be mashing up Horizons and Matthew C um, and just making it work a little better for our family. Do you do, do you mix curriculum? Do you, do you do something like this because you just haven't found the one that has all the things you want? Uh, share in the comments below how you teach your math facts or how you mix up, you know, mix and mash curriculum and how that has worked out for your homeschooling, um, your homeschooling journey. Thanks for watching and give this uh, video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later.